In my review of this, the new Radio Master Boxer, I intentionally didn't mention this, the TBS Mambo. Now, in the comment section of that video, there has been all sorts of comments, accusations, and frankly nonsense around the fact that I'm a paid shill by Radio Master, or the fact that I didn't address the fact that the Boxer does look a lot like the Mambo. I intentionally didn't cover that part in that review because frankly I don't think it's important because the Mambo isn't the first radio to actually look like this and whilst there is no question that there are similarities the reality is the Mambo is a copy of a radio from beforehand and Radio Master have simply taken what they've done in the past, moved that into a different package, which yes, is similar to what we've seen before, but it doesn't mean it's a direct copy. And honestly, they've resolved pretty much all of the issues that I had with this radio. What we're going to do today, though, is just talk about this a bit more, share a bit of info, and I also just want to go into a few more technical details on the boxer that people have asked, such as the gimbal positions, and just talk about a few other things that have been highlighted since I made my original video. Now, there are obviously a lot of comments and people saying the new boxer is just a copy of the TBS Mambo, and I intentionally didn't really talk about about this in my review because actually reality is the Mambo is not the first radio that looks like this. There are many radios out there that have been this size form factor before, the DJI radios, but there are also older handsets out there such as the Turnigy, which I'm showing you now, that Painless 360 did a review about, which again started this form factor off. Whilst it isn't identical, whilst it doesn't have all of the bells and whistles, the reality is the Mambo was was not the first to look like this and again what the box is doing is simply taking what has been done before and improving it and delivering it in a package that people want. Now I am a massive fan of the Mambo. Since getting it, it has been pretty much my go-to radio. I did move over to the Zorro for a bit, but I ended up going back to the Mambo. In fact, just a couple of weeks ago, I upgraded the sticks on these to the new Vision 2 gimbals with the Pro ends, allowing me to fold them over as well. And as much as this radio has been close to ideal for me, it isn't perfect. It has limitations. For instance, I don't use Tracer. I don't want Tracer built into this radio. I would have loved for there to have been a Crossfire Mambo, which meant I could have had Crossfire built in and then used Express LRS via the module. The reality is, though, it doesn't have that, and instead I'm having to swap modules over. So when I'm using it with Express LRS, I put that module in, and then when I'm using it with Crossfire, I'm having to stick that module in. Whereas the new Boxer means I don't have to worry about that. We've got that up to one watt Express LRS built in as standard, and then I can just leave my Crossfire module in the back and not have to worry about messing around with modules when I'm out in the field. There is also a number of other little things that did drive me nuts on the Mambo. The fact that it does run that Freedom TX operating system, yes, it has pretty much all of the same functionality as Edge TX or Open TX, but it doesn't have the ability to transfer modules over between radios and stuff like that, and it just meant that it is a standalone item with regards to that software. And the fact that it isn't capable of doing the higher rates on Express LRS2, limited to 250 Hz, whereas this will do up to the F1000. For me, what Radio Master have done with the Boxer is take everything that is good about the Mambo, but also good about those other radios, and deliver it into a form factor and package that I have just been waiting for. There is no question that the radios look similar, but the reality is today all radios look similar, and it really isn't fair to say Radio Master have copied the Mambo, because the reality is the Mambo has copied something else as well. It is just a form factor of radio. They have some likenesses, that's without question, but the reality is they both have to have sticks, they both have switches, they both have a screen, and everything else has got to be on there, and you're not going to move any of this stuff anywhere else on the radio, so in the end, they're always going to look quite similar. 
Now, after my original review, I had a number of people ask me for some additional technical details, specifically with regards to where the gimbal is located compared to the edge of the radio, the gimbal height and some other things like that. So, I thought I would put that into this video. We're going to use my trusty vernier caliper for this. We're going to be doing it in millimetres. Sorry, I'm not going to be converting it to inches. We left that behind over here quite a while ago. So, I'm going to use this box as an edger for the side of the radio just to give me an idea and the first thing we're going to do is just measure how far from the side edge the sticks are in so what we're going to do is push that into about the center of the stick which I think is about there and we're talking 39 mils I think that's probably 39 dead if I'm honest let me just pop that at 39 there let me just pop it below so I can see mid stick too. Yeah, there we go. About 39 mil from the side of the radio level is where the gimbals are in. As for how far from the top, I'm going to again put this box at the top there. And just to give you an indication, what we'll do then is spread that out. I'm going to bring that down to roughly mid stick. And that is roughly 57 mils from the top maybe 58 57 58 from the top of the radio and then if I was to do the same from the bottom of the radio putting it on its side then just to give you an indication put my hand on that and then coming in to roughly mid stick there and that's approximately 98 mil 98 and a bit we then had some questions about the height of the gimbals in reference to the radio 2 now from the top surface the gimbals actually drop down from that outer rim by 5.7 mil but this outer rim is actually raised and what i would say is the gimbal probably sits 5 mil from that top surface over that side in total as for how high the gimbals are from the back of the radio or from the surface to the top of the gimbal itself we're going to be approximately 50 millimeters from there to there again this is an approximate rating and then from the side to the top of the gimbal with the stick all the way down i'm just going to place that on the top there just so i can adjust to the right position there we go and that there is about 77.85 so that gives you an indication of the placing of the gimbals on the boxer and hopefully that will help people get an idea of where they are in relation to what they're actually looking for themselves now for me as i've already mentioned the radio master boxer is everything that the mambo could have been the tracer built in the mambo for me was a big mistake in my opinion it should have been available with both tracer or crossfire to allow people to have the choice the fact that it forced me down the road of tracer that i didn't really particularly like meant I always ended up having to swap modules whereas the boxer has that one watt express lrs built in and i can just leave my crossfire module in the back and not worry about it now there has been a lot of other questions on this radio with regards to changing things and improvements we're going to see mods available for it people are already looking at things like internal antenna support i think that's going to be a very simple mod to do switches are probably not going to be easy to change you're still going to be keeping the two-way switches on the sides because there isn't a three-way position on the pcb but there is some investigations on that i want to do and you're obviously going to see the people do the upgrades to the cnc ago one gimbal and in fact i have a set of ago ones here and i will be upgrading this radio to them in the very near future i'm probably also going to do a slight mod on this where i put a button on the back for arming and disarming whilst you do have that shoulder button for the arm and disarm up there it isn't the most comfortable of button to use it was the same on the mambo i'm not a big fan of those corner buttons they work okay but i'll probably put 
a push button on the back of the radio here. Radio Master actually make push buttons for their other radios. And what I'm thinking is putting one right on the back around here. That's then going to allow me to have an arm button sort of around there where I want it rather than the reach on the top. But to be honest, it isn't a great stretch. It's just I prefer a button that has a slightly different feel that's not raised down or sort of sunk down all of the time with regards to enabling and disabling arm. But I could just do it on that switch there if I wanted to as well. Overall, I think Radio Master really have smashed it out of the park with this radio. There were a number of comments that said I must be a Radio Master shill or I'm only saying nice things because they sent me this radio for free. Anyone who knows this channel, anyone who has watched this channel knows I have been dreaming about this handset for nearly two years. A Mambo style radio with Express LRS built in full-size Hall Effect gimbals that can be changed for CNC, Edge TX and high power output. And that is exactly what Radio Master have delivered. And honestly, I think a lot of people are going to be very, very interested in this radio. The plastics are good, the feature set's good, and the price is fantastic considering you're getting that case included as well. And you have that option of up to 20 hours battery life with that built-in extended battery too. Now, if you're interested in seeing my review on this radio, there is a link to it in the description and I'll also put it up at the top of the corner of the screen for you as well. Now, that's it from me on this one. If you want to order yourself one of these, there is an affiliate link to it in the description. Radio Master is the only company that I use affiliate links for on this channel, and that is simply because of the fantastic products that they make, and this, again, really is one of them. If you'd like to support the channel, there is also a link to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. I'm really interested in knowing what you think about this radio too, so again, please do put it in the comment section and I will try and answer any further questions that you may have. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe and I will speak to you soon.